If you're someone who is interested in human resources and you've been thinking about taking a human resource career path, then make sure to watch this video because I'm going to give you my two cents on what it's like to work in human resources. Hey, what's up, family? My name is Jimmy Scott Jr., and today I'm going to be talking to you about working in human resources. Um, I've been a human resource professional here going on four years now, and I have a little bit of insight to what the day-to-day -day life is of working in human resources. And if you've been considering doing a career pivot, maybe you've been working in sales or you've been working in engineering or whatever the case is, and you've been interested in working in human resources, I want to give you the truth. I want to give you some understanding before you make that career choice to go down this path. Because the perception that I've seen over the course of years has been that human resources is easy. All human resource does is they sit down on the computer all day. All they do is paperwork, all these different type of things. And as a human resource professional, it's a little bit deeper than that. It's a little bit more complicated than that. And it requires a little bit more work or a lot more work than what you actually may think or see at your current company. So I want to talk to you about that. So the first thing that I would give you if you are considering a career path in human resources is you have to have a love of people. You have to be a people person. The whole name in itself revolves around people, human resource. Your goal is to be a resource for humans. And what kind of resource are you to be? Well, it depends on your role, right? If you are a human resource administrator, then your goal is to be administering, right? You're administering um, um, uniforms. You're administering multiple different things as it relates to your company. Maybe you're administering paperwork or you're facilitating or coordinating certain things for managers or for executive leadership. So it depends on your role as far as your level of resource. I am currently a human resource generalist and as a generalist I specifically focus on specifics of the business such as leave of absences. Um, I specifically focus on um, engagement. I focus on I focus on a multitude of things as a human resource generalist because the generalist is also uh, equal set as a human resource business partner. So as a business partner, I also support and service the operators at my company. So your level of resource goes depending on the job title that you have as a human resource professional. You have multiple job titles. You have human resource business partner. You have human resource generalist. You have human resource manager, human resource director senior human resource generalist, senior human resource manager. You have so many different job titles as a resource to human resource that it correlates with your experience and your education. Having a uh, senior human resource manager certification, a SHRM as they call it, uh, also comes into play. Or a PHR, which is a professional of human resource certification. There are many certifications out there that you can obtain to be in human resource. But the first thing you must understand is that you must have a love and a heart for people because you will be dealing with people all the time. Not that you don't deal with people on your job already, but you will be dealing with people even more so when you are in human resource. You will have um, meetings that you will be in quite often. You will have a lot of critical thinking and 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 things to do as a resource to human resource and people. Another thing that I would urge you to consider in human resources is your ability to advise. In human resources you are in an advisory role and as such it is your job and responsibility to make critical analysis of situations such as 
employee relations. You would be making analysis in human capital, so this would be resulting in hiring and onboarding decisions. And so you would be making a lot of analysis as a human resource professional. And so it's important that you are able to make documents and create spreadsheets and understand how to put and analyze data. Because see, data plays an important part in the operations of a business. I want you to keep this in mind because a lot of people believe that human resources and operation are kind of the same because some people can do human resources that work in an operation setting. And I want you to keep this in mind. You have no business if you have product but no people. You also have no business if you have people but no product. They go hand in hand. It is a partnership. Human resources is a partnership with business operations. One does not operate without the other. And as such, there are multiple functions in human resources outside of people. Even though people is the main function, there are multiple functions. Human resources can serve as a liaison of safety, safety um, protocols, a lot of safety protocols such as security with, with OSHA, making sure that you are following OSHA laws and, and things like that. And there are a lot of uh, different facets that go into safety just with the human resource side of things. Record keeping is also another important part of human resources. Documentation is also another part. A lot of things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis revolve around documentation. It revolves around safety. It revolves around coverages of loss, making sure that the company isn't losing money. And so all of these things are different facets that go into human resources as far as what a professional would do outside of just people. So these are things that you have to consider. You're going to be around people all day, every day. You're going to be doing analysis all day, every day, analyzing data, providing data. You're going to be running reports and doing processes all day, every day. Human resources is a process-driven career. You have to be on point with processes and following a structured process whether it's one that the company has created for you or whether it's one that you yourself must create you must have processes in place because a lot of things in human resources just like with any job really is time driven you have times and deadlines or where you have to have people hired or where schedules need to be completed and finalized or where you have to attend unemployment hearings all of these things have a timeline. Emails have a timeline. Leave of absences have a timeline where you have to make sure that you are structured to following up to minimize your leave of absences. Even attendance has a timeline because you have to be structured to see where people are to make sure that you can get them back to work safely and without restrictions. Again, safety is important because it goes within workers' comp and restrictions. You have to have a love of people, and you have to have a love of people with all facets of their career at the particular company. As one of my old supervisors once told me, you are taking care of people from the cradle to the grave. That's basically from the time they step foot into the business until the time they resign or retire or whatever happens to them over the course of their career. You would basically be in charge of some form or fashion of their career progression. It could be onboarding, it could be hiring, it could be scheduling, it could be just helping them through whatever their uh, issues are or whatever their situations are. It could be offering employee assistance programs. It could be creating employee assistance programs. It could be helping them to prepare for an interview or maybe go for a promotion at the job. It could be cross-training them on different aspects of a job, providing them with the electronic learnings that your company provides. It could be creating the electronic learnings 
for your company. There are many aspects of human resources. So now that's the professional side of human resources as far as what you need to consider before going into. Now I want to give you the personal side of human resources if this is a career path that you want to go down. There are a lot of days where you're going to be stretched very thin. There are a lot of days where you're going to have to deal with a lot of uncomfortable conversations with people that you might not want to deal with and talk about. There are a lot of events and a lot of things that can happen within a company during your time there that you might not realize that you would ever come across. We're talking about medical events such as people you know, having seizures or people getting sick at the job or workers comp, people getting hurt very badly at a job and you having to deal with it. Or there's another side of the personal side that I've had to deal with a lot in my time such as bereavement. Do you have the stomach or do you have the heart to be able to look people in their face, people who have just lost a mother or father or child for that matter, who are grieving and going through a difficult time in their life? Are you able to help them to navigate through this time as a resource to their work with their life insurance or accidental death or dismemberment insurance or optional spouse life insurance if they lost a spouse or a child or whatever the case is are you able to help someone with that are you able to help a family to navigate through an employee's 401k if it's an employee in an employee that worked for your company that passed away what happens if you knew that person that passed away that worked for you that worked with the company a person that you've helped and gotten to know as you've worked in human resources and they pass away. Are you able to help the family? Talk to the mother, the grandmother, the grandfather. Are you able to deal with bereavement? Are you able to deal with drug abuse, alcohol abuse, being able to help navigate people through abuse? Are you able to have these conversations left and right at a moment's notice every single day? Because that's human resources. Your time is catered towards the love and care of humans and helping humans and being a resource through all different facets of their life and their career. There are a lot of ups to human resources. Seeing people get promoted that you hire, that you've helped. Seeing people come back that you've worked with that were sick on a leave of absence, people who may have had cancer, people who may have had serious injuries, neck injuries, back injuries, that you've helped through and navigate to make sure that they get paid while they are out, to make sure that they are well taken care of, to see them come back. People who you've had conversations with that have been drug abuse and alcohol abuse, or people who have been homeless, to see them come back strong, to come back to work, making more money, changing their life around. There are a lot of ups to human resources, but there are also a lot of downs to human resources. There are a lot, there's a lot of burden that could be weighed upon you. I mean, if you are not a person that is able to not only handle and shoulder a lot of that burden, but to be able to be a resource to stand firm, to help folks, because not only is it a resource role, but it's also a teaching role. You have so much opportunity in human resource to become more than just a person that people talk to. You can become a teacher to really teach and help guide people to the right resources. Guiding people to speak to therapists and psychiatrists. Guiding people to go to the doctor to get checked out. You're guiding people. You're advising leaders. You're sitting with executive leadership, giving your two cents about the direction of a business as a resource to people and giving your professional experiences about what you've seen and what you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I have been talking so far on human resources as a result to a base level and this is a day-to-day -day human interaction of employee level but if you are seeking an executive level of human leadership 
then you have to be a visionary. You have to be a long-term thinker. You have to be an advisor that can see the course and trajectory based on the data to advise executives of a company on the direction that we should be looking forward to and pivoting and making changes for a company. This is why a lot of this is why a lot of employees don't really like change is because the change is necessary in order for you to stay relevant as a business unit as the times change. If something is not working and something is not working as a result to serving people, then you need to change. Regardless of if it's working for the business, if it's not working for the people, then you need to change. What good is it if you have a good business model that doesn't work to service the customers that you are trying to service? You can't make money that way, regardless of how easy it is to do the job. Ease of work does not make money if money is not being made from the work. So it's important to learn when you need to pivot in an executive HR role to the changes of structure and be a part of the change of structure to make it make sense. It's all trial and error. And if your trial of that pivot turns out to be efficient and effective, then you have now added even more to your resume of your experiences and your ability to advise and critically think on knowledge of a company to assist and add value to a company. So I just wanted to provide you with a few things if you are considering human resources as a career path of making a pivot or maybe you're in college and you think about going down this path, there are going to be a lot of long nights, a lot of long days and long nights if you are an exempt employee, meaning that you're a salary. You don't have a on the clock position. You're always on the clock. You get paid the same amount no matter how many hours you work. There are going to be a lot of hours because you're going to be passionate about what you're trying to do to really help people and help the business. There's a lot of passion, a lot of long hours, but it's, it's worth it. It's worth it because you build yourself as a person. It's worth it because you build skills of understanding knowledge and processes and learning how to speak and present, present findings and present data to people to make a decision. And it's also worth it because you yourself grow from the change that happens around you. And you begin to develop things that are necessary even beyond human resources if you were to go in a different profession. So consider these things if you are trying to go in a career path of human resources. But that's just my two cents. I appreciate you for tuning in and watching me. I really uh, hope that you've gotten some value out of this video. If you have, be sure to leave me a like and drop a comment down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on the video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get more videos just like these. I appreciate you for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time.